You guys, I was just uh, doing a just collective reading here. And I'm going to put it back where it was here. Uh, let's go back. Oh, yeah, clean the cup skirts here. I was just going to clean it up, and I thought, no, 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 this is pretty good reading. So let you guys know. The first card is uh, completion. Um, having to do with majestic completion. Uh, let me get this thing. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask you guys, too. Just leave a comment in the area. Let me know how Larry's doing, because, like, I don't know. I'm getting some weird, um, people t ask me shit about that stuff again. Because, um, I don't know, I touched up his face recently. Because, like, uh, he said he wanted to look more like Richard Gere. I don't know why. I told him, asked him why he wanted to look like an old, old man or whatever. And he's like, never mind, or whatever. And I was like, well. Just a little word, I don't know. It kind of balances me out, eh? And, uh, he, um, and he started, I, I, like I said, well, maybe you should start doing some readings with me or whatever. So that's why he started helping me out. And then, um, I'm like, uh, I don't know. He, he's, he got some comments on his, his reading there, and he's, I don't know, it seems like it's sort of really gone to his head. And I was like, uh, talking about invading France and stuff like that. And I've never known him to ever have, like, a racist bone in his body. And I was like, why do you want to invade France, baby? <laughs> and he's like, I don't know. I think, like, uh, I think it, uh, it would be a lot better if I was running the place. And I'm like, uh, okay, Larry, I don't know. I said, I mean, that's, for some weird reason, a lot of other maniacs, that's usually the first thing they do. And it usually doesn't look out too good for them, Larry. So, he just likes it. <laughs> So, I don't know, you guys, just let me know if you see anything weird going on. I'm just a little concerned about it. Okay. The completion, the Four of Wands. Is... Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Is completion, perfection, settlement, rest. Subtlety, cleverness, knowledge brings conclusions. Unreliable outcomes from overzealous action. Hmm. Yeah, so if you really want to get on his good side too, tell me he looks like Richard Gere, apparently. So, yeah. uh, One Ace of Cups is like a, that's like a new love author, Ace of Cups. Is, that's in a challenge position, so. That's good. Challenges to look for some new love for the collective. Uh, um, I don't think he watches my reading, so that's why I thought I'd ask on okay. here. So I'm putting it in a comment today. I think he's looking, he's into his own thing right now, so, which is good. I'm just trying to get him the first step as well. What do we got in the uh, subconscious? We got the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Fiery part of fire, a man activity, generosity, pride, and swiftness, cruelty, bigotry, and petulance. Oof. Okay. What have we got in the past? We got the Ace of Discs. Ace of Discs. That's like something material. Like the beginning of something like material, like with a lot of material mixed to it. Let's see what it says in here. Uh, the root of the powers of the earth. Material gain, power, labor, wealth, contentment, and materialism. Okay. So yeah, having to do with like earthly things, like um, material things, money, power, um, things that make the world go on. Yeah. Hmm. And then Six of Swords is in the present. So this is a present situation would be Six of Swords. Um, six of Swords. Science, directed intelligence. So like, yeah, directed intelligence. So like a team of like scientists, I guess. If you wanted to like um, create a time machine, you'd have like a team of scientists or some shit like that. Um, that's the way I'm seeing this. Uh, six of Swords. Uh, labor, work, success after challenge, passage from difficulty, journey by water, influenced. So that, that influenced in this book just means like uh, 
the dark side of you, right? So, uh, center, self-centeredness, intellectual conceit. Um, what else? Um, yeah, we have the, the, in the future we have um, four of cups. So four of cups, luxury. So that's two fours now. You got the four right at the beginning. Here on this side of the top. And then on this side, so like bookending each one is like fours. So fours usually means stability. So um, Queen of Cups in influence. So maybe influenced by the Queen of Cups. Is somebody who's uh, maybe Let's see what it says in this book here. Hex cups, Queen of Cups. Mm. Queen of Cups. Nine of Cups, Queen of Cups. A watery part of water, an observer. Dreamy, tranquil, poetic, imaginative, kind, yet passive, impressionable to other card influences. Mm. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Two of Wands, Dominion, that's um, in uh, Hopes and Fears, so Dominion, okay. that's not a hope, but it's starting to look that way, just telling everybody, it is starting to look that way, like out in the collective, mm. so Dominion, number two of Wands. Dominion, fire at its highest form, force of energy, harmony of power and justice, influence is boldness, courage, fierceness, restlessness, turbulence, obstinacy. Uh, number, what is this? Oh, this is the lens they're looking through, the star. The star is the lens that whoever this collective readings for, um, they're looking through is uh, the star, so hmm. you like to think they're a star, maybe like the uh, picture here. Okay. Um, the star, um, that's number um, 17 in the tarot. So, the star, where's the star here? Let's see what it says. It's uh, Aquarius energy, right? Yeah, it is. Aquarius, a star. Okay, hope, unexpected help. Hmm. Clarity of vision. Spiritual insight influence is dreaminess, disappointment, and dreaminess and disappointment. Okay. Hmm. See here. We got here for. We got two ones too. I just thought I'd mention that. Two aces. With the, Ace of uh, Cups, which is sometimes a new love offer, and then we get the Ace of Discs. So, Water and Earth. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, and we've got Three of Cups, which is abundance. Three of Cups is like a. You know, like a. Does he have a picture of three people like dancing around with cups or whatever? But not I just call it abundance in this one's three of cups is there's one two cups three of cups is abundant spiritual fertility plenty hospitality pleasure sensuality passive success love kindness bounty transient pleasure okay that's all good stuff and the outcome we got four cards here we got the lovers which is Gemini energy uh, inspiration, intuition, intelligence, innocence, attraction, beauty, love, influenced by self-contradiction, instability, indecision, indecision, superficiality, and infatuation. Which are here. Um, and then we have the Ten of Cups. Ooh, nice. Satiety. Uh, that's like the full package of love there. The 
Ten of Cups, let's see here, it says here, oh, Ten of Cups, contentment, pursuit of pleasure, desired outcome, success, peacemaking, generosity, dissipation, uh, overindulgence, pity, waste, stagnation. Okay. That's the uh, ugly side of it, I guess, is the, would be a dissipation, overindulgence, pity, waste, and stagnation. Okay. Then we got adjustment, which I believe it equals to the justice card in the Rider Waite, which is number five, seven, or oh, number eight. In the, uh, this Alistair Crowley talk deck here, adjustment, it's called. Uh, so that's like balance. Um, balance would be justice. Adjustment, justice, balance, adjustment, suspension of the action pending decision. Refer to lawsuits, trials, marriages, contracts. Hmm. Okay. And then the Eight of Cups, which is usually shows a picture of people walking away, or a hermit walking away and go, walking around the hill there, leaving his uh, Eight Cups there. Um, it's called Indolence. So Eight of Cups would be Indolence, Eight of Cups. Abandoned success, declining interest, temporary success, instability, misery, transience, which may lead away from material success. Hmm. Okay. And then, oh yeah, bottom of the deck, the underlying energies is the Ten of Pentacles, or this, which is like wealth, which is, that's good. So you, like, the underlying energy, you get the Ten of uh, Wealth, and then, or Ten of um, this, which is wealth, and then in the outcome, you got the Ten of Cups, so those are the two best tens to get, so that's pretty damn good, actually. Um, that's like generational wealth, so. And then also you got number two, the high priestess, which is like highly intuitive, like inner knowing and like occult knowing and, and like occult uh, knowledge and wisdom and stuff like that too. So yeah, the high priestess knows like everything pretty much. She doesn't tell everybody everything, but she does know everything. So the high priestess, let's see what says about this one in here. Pure, exalted, and gracious influence enters the matter, bringing change, alternation, increase, and decrease. Fluctuation, exuberance should be tempered and careful balance maintained. Hmm. Okay. So let's do the first one again. The first one, so we got 4-4, four, four, bookending the first top half here. And then, uh, huh. Let's see what the what the completion means again. Four of uh, wands. That's wands. Uh, four of wands. Yeah. Completion, perfection, settlement, rest, sublety, cleverness, knowledge brings conclusions. Unreliable outcomes from overzealous action. So, trying to prevent. One ace of cups. Let's see. Yeah. What is it? What is other meaning besides root of the powers of water, fertility, productivity, beauty, pleasure, and happiness? Okay, that's all good. Yeah. So, and that's everything. So, yeah, just keep an eye on Larry. Just uh, let me know if he's getting in a hand. I, I can try to watch his, all his videos, but I think they're good, actually. I think he's doing pretty good. But trying to knock his shit, I'm just making sure it's not going in. Sometimes he lets shit go over his head a little bit too much. And just want to make sure that France is safe, if you know what I mean. Have a good one, guys.